Anything interesting, Trevor? Hmm, it looks like we may have a mammoth tusk in there. Mammoth tusk? Why would anyone throw out a mammoth tusk? Perhaps it's broken. Only one way to find out. Cannon? Trash smash? Trash smash. <laughs> Trash smash! Looks quite well intact. Just requires a thorough polish. Jolly good. Well, well, well. Uh-oh. Oh, hi. What was your name again? The name's Trex. You should know that by now. I'm the best scavenger in the business. Your name is Trex? How do you spell that? T followed by Rex? Very original. Your parents must have been just as intelligent as you if you think you're the best scavenger in the business. That's funny, coming from a spiky-looking dino named Spike. <laughs> he does have a good point there. How the heck do you know my name? Your name tag. You wear a name tag? I, I like to wear a name tag when I'm working sometimes. Why? It makes me feel professional. Anyway, sh shut up! What do you want? I want that nice-looking mammoth tusk you have there. If you don't hand it over right now, I'm going to eat you both. You're not getting my tusk, you... Buttasaurus. Well, that's not very nice. You should listen to him, Spike. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry I called you a Buttasaurus, Trex. Not about that. You should give him the mammoth tusk. What? Why would I do that? He's a full-grown Tyrannosaurus Rex. You're a Stegosaurus. You don't stand a chance against him. How do you know that? I could be a very strong Stegosaurus. Even a full-sized Stegosaurus would not be able to defeat a Tyrannosaurus, and you're unusually small for your species. What are you trying to say? He's trying to say that you're small. Small, small, small. Cannon is right. It's basic science. Ouch. I'm not handing over the mammoth tusk. Uh-oh. Hmm. Spike, may I direct your attention at the cliff to your right? Cannon. Wall smash? Trash smash? No, wall smash. <laughs> okay, we don't have time for this. Who's a good boy? And how's that for basic science? Well done, lads. Alright, Cannon. Let's get back to base. Okay, Cannon. Rope pull! Nah. This should be the spot. Trevor? Hmm. Nothing. Dang it! That's the last time I accept a treasure map as payment! That is what you said last time. Yeah, well, this time I mean it. Spike, I'm reading an incoming dino at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? Your computer can read the future? 6 o'clock means behind you. We really need to teach you how to read time, Trevor. Behind you! Ah! Are you Spike and Cannon? That depends. Who's asking? Uh, uh, I'm asking. Oh. Well, in that case, yes. I've heard that you guys do stuff in exchange for stuff. That's what it says on our business card. Oh, that's literally what the card says. I thought there was going to be a punchline. Punchlines are for paying customers only. Well, you're in luck. I just so happen to have a treasure map. A treasure map? Deal! What do you want us to do? You just said you were done with treasure maps. That's in the past, Trevor. Okay, we need to look to the future. Mm -mm. Now, what can we help you with, sir? My son! He's found himself stuck in a situation. Uh-huh. What kind of situation is he stuck in? He's stuck in mud, that's the situation. Oh, that's easy. Cannon here gets stuck in the mud all the time. Stuck in mud! Well done, Cannon. You've contributed a lot to this episode. I'm helping! Help me. I'm stuck. Okay, to get your son out of the mud, we're gonna use a really awesome pulling in laser, or rope, for short. I believe awesome begins with an A, not an O. Trevor, it's awesome, not awesome. Jeez, dude, learn how to spell. Trevor, what's that noise? 
Are you banging your head against the desk in frustration again? Help. I'm sinking. Eh. Cannon! Rope pull! Rope pull! <laughs> My son! Thank you so much, Spiking Cannon! What could I ever do to repay you? Uh, the treasure map? Oh, right! Here you are. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, gang, let's go on a treasure hunt. <laughs> Spike, there's a large dino up ahead. Yeah, trust me, I can see him. Hey, do you mind moving out of the way? Excuse me? You're blocking the path, it's rude. You're interrupting my meditation, which is even more rude. Ah, so you admit that blocking the path is rude. No, no I don't. Well, why don't you just go around me? Ah, uh, because you're huge and there's no space around you? What are you trying to say? Fat. Cannon? Well, now who's being rude? Look, we have to get back to our secret base, okay? <laughs> That is what I think about that. Fart jokes. Classy. I'll tell you what. I'll move out of the way if you do something for me. Offer to perform a neck massage on him. According to my computer information on Brontosaurus's, they love neck massages. Look how big that neck is! I'm not giving anyone massages, Trevor. Save that into your computer. Are you talking to yourself? No, I'm talking to... Never mind who I'm talking to. What do you want so we can be on our way? <sighs> well, tonight is a big night for me. Yeah, I, I bet it's gonna be huge. Do you want me to move or not? Fine, I'm listening. Tonight I have a date with a beautiful Brontosaurus, and I am so nervous. I've tried all kinds of meditation to calm me down. What I really need is a- I am not giving you a neck massage! Ah, <sighs> fine. If you find me some nice flowers to eat, then I will move out of the way. Wait, you have a date tonight, but you want me to find you some flowers so you can... eat them? Of course! What else would I do with flowers? There is a small bed of flowers not far from your current location. <sighs> what do you think, Cannon? Should we find this guy some flowers? Fat. Okay. We'll go find you some flowers. Alright, Cannon, let's hurry up and grab some of these stupid flowers. <laughs> Cannon! It appears that Cannon is allergic to the flowers. Great, he just destroyed the whole bunch. Are there any other flower beds around here, Trevor? Not according to the computer. Are you sure all of the flowers are damaged? This is the best looking one, I guess. It'll have to do. Come on, Cannon. Sneeze, sneeze! Ah! You've returned! I trust you've brought me some yummy flowers to eat? Uh, yeah. Right here. Ah! Oh, gross! Where did you find those? A trash pile? You know what? I'm not moving, and you two losers are just going to have to find a longer way home. Dang it! <laughs> now you listen here, mister. You move that extremely large rear end of yours, or so help me, I'll- You'll what? You know, maybe I shouldn't be eating flowers. I hear that stegosaurus meat is delicious. Perhaps i eat you instead! Ah. <laughs> you know, all of this could have been avoided if you would have just given him a neck massage. Trevor, you're not helping! <laughs> My neck! Good work, Cannon! Sneeze, sneeze! Yeah, meditate your way out of that one, you hippie! Alright, lads. According to my top secret source, there is a secret cave up ahead which contains a vein of rare secret crystals. And where did you find this secret source, Trevor? I found him on dinosdinosdinos.com, a place where dinos can come together and discuss challenges, memes, diets... BORING! I think I'm gonna have to agree with Cannon on this one, Trevor. Suit yourselves, but the information provided to me by my source is very detailed and appears to be highly reliable. Much more reliable than your recent treasure map, Spike. Low blow, Trevor. Alright, Cannon, let's do this. Ew, gross! Look up ahead, above you! It's a crystal! Looks expensive. 
I told you my source was reliable. I suggest using your really awesome pulling and laser to pull down that crystal. I didn't bring my rope with me. Cannon's gonna have to bring it down. <whistles> Cannon, look! <gasps> 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 I got it! Huh? Great. It appears that Cannon's impact has collapsed the entrance, but it looks like you might be able to squeeze through that gap. Hey, this crystal is plastic! Well, 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 if it isn't Spike and Cannon. Well, 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 if it isn't... Uh, Jeremy? My name is Trex. How do you not remember my name? I'm sorry, you're not a very memorable character. Yes, I am. I I'm big. I I'm scary. I I red. And red. Yes. Anyway, it looks like you fools have fallen for my plastic crystal trap. Trex is my anonymous source? You like to go on dinosdinosdinos.com? Of course. It's an excellent place to discuss memes, challenges, diets... Boring! Maybe I won't be so boring once I tear you small dinos limb from limb. Perhaps you will find me more memorable once I bite your tiny heads off. Hey, no need to bring size differences into the conversation. Let's keep this civil. Explain to Trex that once he bites your head off, you won't be able to remember who he is because you'll be dead. Yeah, that'll work. Run, Cannon! <laughs> Not so bad being small after all, eh, Jeremy? It's Trex! Whatever. Why don't you get back in here and fight me like a man? Or I could stay out here and be completely safe. That does sound like the smarter thing to do. I agree. See you, Jeremy! Jeremy! Trevor! Is Cannon okay? Cannon took quite a hit, but he's still alive. I'm having a hard time pinpointing his location, though. Keep trying! There is a cave up ahead. You may be able to locate a good place inside to hide. Or a good place to get cornered. It's your choice, Spike. Ah! Sure, you stay very quiet, Spike. <laughs> Great, I'm doomed. Not necessarily. It appears as though the Tyrannosaurus is about to attack the Carnotaurus. While they're distracted with fighting each other, you can escape the cave. They're blocking the exit. <laughs> He looks hurt. Maybe I can take him. I doubt you could defeat him, but you can certainly outrun him now. Get yourself to that exit. Trash smash! Cannon! Oh. Come on, Cannon! Trash smash! Oh. Ah. <sighs> Good work, Cannon. Phew. That was rather stressful, but you know what? I... I think I'm going to be okay. Ah. Trevor, what kind of dino is this guy, and what are his weaknesses? Trevor? Trevor! Spike! Cannon! Trevor? What are you doing away from your computer? I have an emergency! My parents are in town! Okay, so what? They're expecting me to participate in the raptor test tomorrow. The what? 
The Raptor Test, a test of combat between two Velociraptors. I will be expected to fight and survive a five minute one on one claw to claw match against another Velociraptor. Uh, guys, are we going to fight or what? Shut up, Boris. You are completely unimportant and irrelevant. Arse, Trevor. Come on, gang. We need to get back to base. I'm so alone. Okay, in order to prepare for the raptor test, there are a number of other tests that I need to master. I need you to read these questions out to me and notify me if my answers are correct or not. Uh, okay. What's 77 squared? 7. 5,929. Correct. What's the square root of 2,916? 7? 54. Trevor, what the heck are these? Spike, I need to train for the fight tomorrow. Doing your math homework isn't going to help you in a claw fight. I need to train my brain so I can calculate how best to survive. Uh, unless your plan is to bore your opponent to death with numbers, y you may need a better strategy. What do you suggest we do? Well, I think it's time for a training montage. What do you say, Cannon? Seven. So lads, what do you think? Am I combat ready? Uh... Sure? Great! Let's do this! Ah! There they are! Hello, Mummy and Daddy! I'm going to make you very proud today! Do you have to fight? Yes, but fear not, Spike. You have trained me well. I have every confidence that I will. <gasps> Am I late? Uh, what happened? Did Trevor win? Shut up, Boris. Okay, Spike. This cave is famous for its abundance of crystals. Most of them have been taken already, but no one has ever been down this cliff before. Okay, Cannon, I'm gonna need you to slowly rope me down this cliff. Yeah. Okay, remember, I said slowly. What are you looking at? Cannon, you're not gonna let go of the rope to go eat that yummy looking plant, okay? You hear me? Uh huh. Good, let's do this. Oh. No! Cannon! Ah! Nom, nom, nom. <sighs> well, I guess that plant did look pretty tasty. Trevor, do you read me? Great, no reception down here. Hey! Hey, wait! I need help getting out of here! <sighs> Where'd he go? Where did who go? Trevor? I thought there was no reception down here. Actually, there's excellent reception down there. I'm hearing you perfectly. Well, where the heck have you been? Apologies for my brief absence. I urgently needed to use the dino toilet. TMI, Trevor. Do you know how I can get out of here? I, I can't see any crystals and it's cold and creepy down here. Continue following this path and there should be a way out. Okay. Huh? Whoa. Ah! Who dares enter my sanctuary? Hi, my name's Spike. I am the collector. Right. Get it? Col egg tor? Because you collect eggs, yes, I get it. Col egg tor. It's a pun, a play on words. He is a collector who collects eggs. Yes, I get it. Trevor, have you been paying attention at all today? I I'm sorry, what? Ugh, look, I need to leave this cave, okay? What's the best way out? The eggs, it, is right behind me. I'll tell you what, if you can answer one question for me, I'll let you pass. 
Eggs. Cannon. Ah, oh, your friend is here. Perhaps he can help you answer my question and gain both of your freedom from the Great Egg Room. Just ask the question already. As you wish. Here is the question. How many eggs do I have in the Great Egg Room? Seven. Cannon? Wow, that may be the worst answer I've heard since I've been doing this. You've been doing this for a while? Yes, a very long time. You've been standing in this room asking people how many eggs you have for a very long time. Yes. Wow. Okay. Look, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to give you one more chance to answer the question because your last attempt was so bad. Aw, oh, thanks, Trevor. According to my computer, there are 123 delicious eggs in the room. 123. What? How? I guess you could say I'm an excellent guesser. I don't get it. Okay, well, I guess we'll see you around. Not so fast! Nobody beats the Collector! Ow! No! Not my eggs! Huh? 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 You have beaten me! Exactly. Eggs! Spike! Cannon! We need your help! We? Oh, hi, Trevor's parents. Spike, this is my father, Trevor Sr. <laughs> and my mother, Trevorina. Hello! Trevor. Good point, Cannon. Trevor, what's your brother's name? Trevor again? Don't be ridiculous. Trevor again isn't here. He and I have not been on good terms since he ate my Uncle Trevor. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. He was pretty inappropriate. Yes, well... My parents are here because they need our help. An evil Velociraptor named V-Ray has stolen the Velociroc. The Veloci what? The Velociroc! It's an heirloom that has been in my family for years and years. My parents need our help in tracking V-Ray and recovering the stolen Velociroc. Interesting. How much are your parents going to pay us to recover this thing? Spike, you're going to love this. If we recover the Velociroc... Yes? My father has assured me that I will have gained his respect. How incredible is that? Oh. That's... great. That V-Ray is a bad Velociraptor! Good luck, Pookie! You can count on us, Mommy and Daddy. Trevor, why does your voice sound so different from your parents? Spike, I was born with superior intellect to all other Velociraptors, which is why I have a British accent. Me and Cannon are superior intelligent, we don't have British accents. Ha, 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 ha. That is hilarious. You two aren't nearly as intelligent as I am. We're smart in our own way, right, Cannon? I made a poopy in my butt! <sighs> Thanks, Cannon. V-Ray was last spotted in this very area. There he is! And there's the Velociroc! Well, well, well. That's it? That's your dad's pet rock? Doesn't look very special, Trevor. Just because something doesn't look special to you, Spike, doesn't mean it's not special. Okay, okay, I'm sorry I offended you in your rock. Please, being offended is for people with low intelligence. I was merely pointing out the logical fallacy of making a value judgment on a family heirloom that you know nothing about, other than the apparent superficial details of its exterior. Are you on the phone? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Just some dino that's super full of himself. Oh, Trevor? Yeah. Yeah, I know Trevor. Good for you. We want the stupid rock back. You're gonna have to fight me for it. I thought you'd say that. Cannon, let's do this. Trash smash! Hooray! Good work, Cannon. Huh? Ah, what the? Ghost! That is the spirit of my grandfather. He lives inside the Velociroc. His name is... Let me guess. Grandpa Trevor. What a surprise. Does... Does he actually do anything, or does he just float above the rock, staring? He pretty much just floats there, staring. It's actually kind of creepy. Is... Is there a way to turn it off? There's a switch around the back. Okay, okay, stop. 
We need a break. Heavy box! Ugh. Trevor, what the heck is in this thing? We've been hired to deliver this package to a dino just south of here. The contents of the box were not disclosed to me. The client did not say that we could look inside the box, Spike. Yeah, but he didn't say that we couldn't look either. Spike, you will not under any circumstances open that box. It's unprofessional. It could be a big tasty egg. A big tasty egg? Open that box right now! No! Stop it! Stop trying to tempt me with big tasty eggs! My box! What the? My box! My box! Ugh. What the heck is going on here? Another Triceratops has shown up and it appears as though he wishes to lay claim over the box. My box! Really? What makes you think that? My box! It appears as though Cannon is communicating with the Triceratops, letting him know that the box is indeed not his. Wow, Trevor. What would we do without you? Well, I... <laughs> I do try my best. My box! My box! Okay, calm down, you two. <laughs> hey, stop it! Sit! <laughs> my box! My box! <laughs> my box! Okay, let's deliver this stupid box. <sighs> Hey, my box has arrived. Why is it so heavy? I was going to ask you the same thing. Ah, someone must have left a rock in here. You guys should have taken that out before delivering it. <laughs> Would have been much easier for you. What? Why the heck was there a rock in there in the first place? Well, these boxes are known for being so incredibly light and easy to carry that dinos sometimes put rocks in them, just to keep them from flying away. Why would you want us to deliver you an empty box? I love boxes. I have a large collection. I mean, look over there. Whoops. There goes that box. Yep. It's gone. I, um... I'm gonna need you guys to deliver me another box. Ah! Might want a new catchphrase. I mean, Trash Smash is good, but you're overusing it a bit. How about... Uh, garbage Impact? Wait a minute. What are you doing? Hello? How can you see me? I'm camouflaged. Uh, not really. What are you doing up there, anyway? Avoiding conflict. It's better up here in the trees than down there with all the drama. According to my computer, this dino is exhibiting early symptoms of dino insanity. Looks like there's quite enough drama going on up there in your tree, buddy. You may think I'm insane now, but just you wait. Spike! Cannon! Ah! I need your help. My son has been kidnapped. See? <sighs> what do you think we are, the dino police? I'll give you this big crystal if you rescue him. That is a rare Benetoit crystal and is highly valuable. I suggest we take him up on his offer. Okay, fine. Who kidnapped your son? He calls himself the Butcher. He kidnaps dinos and sells them to carnivores for food. Sounds delicious. Trevor? <sighs> Sorry. Where can we find this Butcher? The Butcher. <sighs> Where can we find this The Butcher? He's right over there. Help me. I'm kidnapped. Spike, this may be a good opportunity to test out the new device I added into your inventory. It's called the Push the Button and Attract a Carno Taurus 3000. It sounds complicated, but basically, you push the button and it attracts a Carno Taurus. Spike, please be quiet and listen closely while I explain how it works. Okay, you push the button. Yes. And it attracts a Carno Taurus. Wow, thanks for explaining that, Trevor. Okay, let's go rescue your son. up here in the trees.
What the? Uh, Trevor! Trevor, what happened? Where's Cannon? Uh, can't talk. My computer is broken. Y yes, I can see that. What happened to you? Are you badly injured? I'm completely fine. I'm just... Uh, super bummed out about my computer being broken. Trevor, get up. Uh, what happened here? We were attacked. Attacked by who? A Tyrannosaurus Rex named Trex. Who? The guy whose name you keep pretending you can't remember. Oh, yeah. I remember that guy. Jeremy, right? No, Trex. Oh, right. Spike, Trex has dino-napped Cannon. He's what? Dino-napped. Dino instead of kidnapped? Yes. Gotcha. Trevor, we need to save Cannon. Correct. Trex informed me that if you bring him a bag of treasure by tonight, then he will let Cannon go free. And if I don't bring Trex, I mean Jeremy, a bag of treasure by tonight? He's going to eat Cannon! No! I've emptied our safe and placed everything that we have into this bag. It's all that we have, but it's worth it. To save Cannon! Did he say how large the bag had to be? Uh, no, he didn't. Why? Well, why don't we just take out the least valuable items and put them in a small bag for Trex? That way we can keep pretty much all our stuff and still get Cannon back. Oh, yes. I suppose that would be a better solution. I guess this whole ordeal won't be that big of a deal after all. Eh. <laughs> okay. I'm off to save Cannon. Are you coming with me? I can still help you right here from the dino base, even without the computer. I can use my radio. <sighs> Great. Ugh. Where, oh where is your dear friend Spike, Cannon? Time is running out for you, little one. Stuck in chains. Yes, you are indeed stuck in chains. Soon you will be stuck in my teeth if your little blue friend doesn't show up. It's such a shame, Cannon. You and I could have made a great team. We could have run this town. Stuck in chains. Can't move. Chains make me stuck. Not too bright, are you? Stuck in chains. Stuck in chains. Yes, I know. I put you in the chains. Stuck in chains. Ah! Hey, Trex. Ah, Spike. I see you've forgotten to pretend to not remember my name this time. A wise decision. Where is my bag of treasure? Here you go. S seriously? That's it? You said a bag of treasure. You didn't say how big. That's true. I guess I should have been more specific about what I wanted. Spike, what's happening? Have you reached Trex's hideout yet? Over. Ah, Trevor! Stay off the line. Your radio connection is terrible. Your radio connection is terrible. Over. What? It's a radio. You're supposed to say over. Over? This conversation is over. This conversation is what? Over? Uh, not stuck in chains! Ouch! Okay, I guess we're fighting. Huh? Get him, Cannon! What? Stuck in rope! Yes, I can see that I am stuck in rope! What is with this guy? What is that? That? Oh, that's just some random piece of junk I found out in the desert. Why is it making noise? I... I don't know. What the? are you supposed to be? My name is Officer Hand. I'm a time cop from the future. Okay, sure you are. Where is this place? This time machine is not supposed to be in here. Oh, that was me. I found it and brought it in here. No way! A Tyrannosaurus? You two captured a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yep, that was us. Stuck in rope! Wow, you two must be the baddest dinos in town. Well, that's not very nice. No, it's a compliment. In the future, bad means... good. Wow. That sounds like progress. Spike, what's going on in there? Who are you talking to, over? Just some time traveler from the future. Just some time traveler from the future, over. <sighs> that device, on your face, where did you get that? This? Uh, we found this next to a skeleton. Was it a dino skeleton? No, I don't think so. Can you take me to where you found it? Uh... If you do, I'll pay you handsomely. Handsomely? Are you flirting with me? What? 
No, handsomely means substantially. I, I can pay you substantially. Man, you guys really butcher the language in the future. Shame on you. Okay, follow us. Uh, guys? Trevor, this is Officer Hand. He's from the future. Hello, Officer Hand. My name is Trevor Trevador. I am from the present, or the past, depending on how you look at it. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, Trevor, Officer Hand needs the exact location of where we found my eye gadget. I'm sorry, Spike. I'm afraid that's impossible. The information you want is stored on my computer. As you can see, my computer is completely broken. I believe I can help with that. Wow! That was incredible! You really are from the future! Okay, let's find those coordinates. There! The location you are after is out in the desert, just south of here. Okay, let's do this. This is it. This is the spot. Hmm. Why are we here? What's so special about my eye gadget? Your eye gadget is a piece of technology from the future. From my time. Which means the guy that I'm looking for might be here. Who are you looking for? A time-traveling criminal. We tracked him to this time period. This way! There it is! That's what I'm looking for. Spike, I'm reading unusual activity at your 10 o'clock. Help me. I'm kidnapped. Again. What's he gonna do with that dino? Take him to the future and sell him on the dino market. In the future, dinos are quite expensive. Let's move! Huh? Kulk! You are under arrest for the crimes of unauthorized time travel, the smuggling of illegal dinos, and being a jerk. Being a jerk is illegal in the future? Yeah. How many people are in jail? Pretty much everyone. <laughs> Well done, Spike and Cannon. This criminal's dino-stealing days are in the past. Literally. Hey, what about our reward? Isn't doing a good deed reward enough? What? No. In that case, check the box on the side of that dino cage. Until next time! Spike, this is a box full of technology from the future. This may be the most valuable treasure we have ever found. Quick, bring it back to base. Okay, Cannon, let's get back to base. Back to base! Uh, guys? I'm in. Excellent. Let the extraction process begin. Yeah. <laughs>